there was a Metalocalypse episode that you directed that made my kids cry. It was Death Kids when the little, you killed me, when the little girl died at the end. The little girl died at the end, and I remember that that just, like, was incredibly upsetting to my children. First of all, how irresponsible am I as a father to let my kids watch this little cartoon show? But Chris, you, you taught your kids about death, and just that end sequence was so amazing because it was like came out of nowhere. I worked on that sound design of like the you kill. No, no, it was like, I'm dead because of you. Of you. Yeah, but there's like her voice backwards at different tones. It's like it was a lot of work, and I loved. I loved like people walking by the office like, what the fuck are you working on? It's like, oh, oh, they're like giving people nightmares even before it came out. But it's weird because the show. I, I just know that you you definitely have a creative stamp where. Uh, it, it's you could do this the traditional way, but there'll always be something that kind of comes out of left field, like like a just what the fuck? Like why did you do that? Whether it's use of sound or imagery, especially on uh, Metalocalypse when they would go to like music video, when it would be a music video kind of within the show. There's just visual imagery that just was bizarre, and I think that was one of the cool things about the show. Obviously, you're not limited, you know, budget wise. It's not like you have a crowd. But there's like you can like you can think of anything. Some of the ridiculous, s- crazy stuff that happened in the show. I mean, if you can draw it, it's it's you can you can if you can think it, you can draw it. It's in the show. Yeah, you know, I, I remember my uh, I think it was the second episode of uh, Metalocalypse. Like I had been uh, doing working on Space Ghost, and I'd done a couple of Aqua Teen. So I was like in the Adult Swim uh, landscape, and having that had that freedom to just do weird stuff. I remember. Uh, there was a death sequence where this character who ended up coming back, he died in the episode, but then I kind of brought him back at the very end by doing a graphic saying, he didn't die, he just got robot <laughs> eyes. So then I also inserted him into like an episode, I think it was the death comedy episode, he's in the courtroom kind of <laughs> laughing. And so we actually ended up bringing him actually back from the dead and he became their record producer, but his name was Nubbler. And I came up with this whole sequence where it's like, Instead of him just dying and his eyes exploding, let's make it like a minute and a half slow push of him screaming. And I remember it was like, uh, even Brendan and Tommy were like, oh, it's too long. And it was like, but that it was that long was what made it funny for me. So I think we cut out like 30 seconds. So now it's like, I think it's one minute of him just, ah, like a real slow push towards him and his eyes explode. So, so that kind of having that freedom to be able to try really weird forms of humor was like what is so exciting about really doing anything in the adult world of animation. 